we teamed up with World Smile Search, and now we're teaming up to do Dancing with the Stars. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a designer dance they did last year with the professionals and a celebrity. But this year they're doing both celebrities where me and her are going out there dancing together, which uh, we just met maybe yesterday, yesterday pretty much. Yeah. So we're, we're at least we at least get to know each, each other. And I can't stand him. I, I have to me. deal with him now for a month, and I can't stand him. She hates me, and so Mark Bouse is Corey, you know, doing the choreography. So hopefully it's, it's going to be good. We'll no, see. it'll be great. It'll be fun. Yeah. If anything, we can promise we're going to have a good time out yeah. there. Everybody's doing great this season. You know, I, um, this Nicole. was a season that uh, had a lot of big names and had a lot of big talent coming into it, and it's living up to everybody's expectations. Is there anybody in particular that you're, you guys are rooting for? Um, you know, it's, it's tough to say because, I mean, obviously Nicole's right out on top right now, but you never know, just like yeah. anything. I mean, for me, I was out on top a couple of times, and then you saw Apollo Anton Ono in my season four came up and did great because you see the people where – I give them a lot of credit for some people that have never danced before, never done something like that, and be able to achieve what they achieve in the amount of weeks that they did. I mean, he deserved to win. I mean, to be totally honest, I'm, I was all happy. Got me jobs. I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. For you, like anybody you're rooting for? Um, I am kind of going, I don't want to say too many names here, but I am kind of am going towards like the Aaron Andrews and, and Chad Ochocinco. They were, they were kind of my favorites right off the bat, and they've been middle of the pack the whole time, which I think strategically is the perfect place to be. Yeah, like he was saying. Yes. You don't want to be on top the whole time because then there is that pressure to that's, stay there. That's, see, that's what I should have done. <laughs> Darn it! Nisi is awesome. She yeah. she creates a lot of comedic relief, you know? I mean, she's just fun to watch. She's got... Her packages are so genuine yeah, and lighthearted. That's another one that has and, an infectious smile. Mm-hmm. That's another person. You see her smile, and you know it's it's, it's genuine. It's real, and yeah. it's, she's having a good time doing it. Just this week, there was all this um, yeah. sort of controversy about a lean Bryan ad. The good thing that came out of this is now people are talking about it, you know? And now it's an issue that will be addressed, and, you know, maybe not the best for... Plus, I think that girl's it, hot in the commercial. She is hot, but now it's got people talking about it, so that, that's great for them. Have you guys seen the ad at all? And I did, I saw No, it. but gorgeous girl. That's, right? yeah. She's beautiful. It's a hot I ad. love it. it I, is. I, that's me on the phone, actually. Oh. She, that's me, actually. She's texting and me on the phone. And that's her going, you wish. <laughs> Is it too sexy for you? No, because they do commercials with with with, with bras in general, Victoria's yeah. Secrets, and you know they do the play text, you know all those other commercials. I mean, come on now. The image itself does not. I, I haven't seen the whole commercial. The image doesn't look bad when you consider the fact that there are Victoria's Secret commercials. There's people in bathing suits that you see on before eight o'clock, which is similar to that. You know, the show itself, there's costumes. And you know what's it? Yeah, less you know what's. World yeah. Smile Search. Uh, basically, we're here. Uh, yeah, it kicks off today. It starts today. We're here, obviously, looking for the best kind of story of what makes people smile about Orlando, Florida. What makes them, uh, you know, maybe they've been there before, maybe they've never been there before. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking today, actually, I think two we're or three people. A today. We're picking a few people that are actually going to be going to Orlando, Florida on October 1st for World Smile Day. And you can go to visitorlando.com slash smile, and that's where you can enter for this. You can write out an essay. You can send a video. Oh, yeah, was it up there? And uh, it helps to benefit a great organization called Smile Train, and they help children in third world countries that have cleft lips and cleft palates. And so our goal specifically is to raise enough money for 67 of those children to have surgeries and, you know, help improve their smiles and their quality of life.